the different modes for performance traction, right? So when you uh, push the traction control button twice, it goes into performance traction, and that gives you mode two. Mode two is similar to a competitive mode, like on, a, on an SS Camaro. It's got stability control on, traction control on, and we put the shocks in the tour setting because we assume you may be in a condition that might be wet or, uh, or changing that you may want the suspension to have some compliance. As you go up into the different modes and you choose mode three, now we put the, the shocks in sport mode and we open up the, the slip and, and yaw thresholds of the car. We let the car basically slide around and move around. We let you move the car, slide the car around a little bit on the track mm -hmm. to help you go faster if you're more comfortable. When you get into mode four, the big difference between mode three and mode four, we leave the, the shocks in, in um, sport mode and we turn off the stability control. So it's all about torque management on corner exit to maximize traction. And then mode five is just the most opened up. It's all about maximizing forward momentum off the corner. Um, and then if you want, when you go into performance traction, like yesterday we had perfect conditions for this, you go down one into mode one, which is wet, we, we tell the stability control algorithm to assume a very low coefficient of friction. So it goes into this kind of preemptively, it'll pull torque before it sees wheel spin so that it doesn't let the wheels spin up so that it doesn't have to catch the car. And it gives you a much more stable, much more controlled feel in changing or wet conditions. So we, we kind of feel in five modes we've covered, you know, the kind of the full gamut as best we could. In a race car, you may have as many as, you know, I think in the World Challenge Cadillacs, we had as many as 12 or 16 modes. Wow to cover just what we do with mode four and five. We, we don't have that flexibility in production, but I think we've done a really good job of covering more than what a traditional traction control system could ever do. And, and given the driver, you know, who's driving a 580 horsepower car, and you want just a little bit of intervention, but not full stability control. And so we wanted to give you those modes to say, I, I want to learn how to use the car. I want to learn a new track and I want to have something to help me with that comfort zone. That was our goal. So obviously now today we're talking mostly, you know, we're talking about road racing and performance on the road. Right. What do you, what's the hot ticket for launching this car at the drag strip? For launching this car at the drag strip, mode four PTM has launch control enabled and it's tuned for these Goodyear tires on the street. So uh, you go into mode four, full throttle, and it holds the, the RPM that it calculates it needs. So it looks at ambient temperature and, and other things and says, okay, you know, it's somewhere between three and four thousand rpm it'll hold that you do a moderate release on the clutch not sidestep the clutch and not not a you know not feathering or slipping the clutch but it's just a nice moderate release off the clutch and it'll maximize wheel slip for forward momentum and it works great and it's very repeatable on the drag strip you can beat the traction control system what i tell people is it'll do the same thing all day long right so if you just want to make sure you get a good launch or, or if you're at a stoplight and you just want to make sure you get going um, it's the don't embarrass me in front of my girlfriend mode, you know, <laughs> that's kind of the way I look at it. And then mode five, we've gone ahead and tuned for a treated surface at the drag strip. It, it requires different parameters. The tires bite differently, so it's tuned for that. You really don't want to use it on the street. It, it's not going to be the fastest way out of the hole. It's probably going to lock down. But if you but if you've got uh, drag radials on the car, you still want to, you want to be in mode five mode or five. Okay, that's what we intended for mode five to help you maximize things in those conditions. So we've given the driver that flexibility. So we understand what people are going to do with this car, and, and we hope they go out and do it.